that it's it's really about um staying consistent i don't think and i think richard touched on it a little bit too about not always reaching out to somebody when you need something mm -hmm. um so just you know it's really just like rem making sure that people remember that you're there mm -hmm. um like so you know you could put something on your calendar that you want to have a, it could be a quarterly touch base um it doesn't have to be something big just a like i was thinking of you or here's an article that i thought of um there's an agency that has talked to me about potentially doing some work um and you know we've talked here and there for a, a, quite a while and she sent me a message yesterday um that she was at a conference and something that i had told her um that was kind of just a joke um somebody said something um that reminded her of that and she sent me an email and mentioned it and then we're like okay let's set up a meeting um to connect um as a result of that but it doesn't have to be that way um I think it's I think it's just um finding connection points and and um you can go about it in in either way either you can have it as something that's that's planned where you put it into your calendar or you can have it as something um you know that's just that that sort of comes up organically I think this year I've um made a point of saying okay every week I'm going to do one call that is something that can help to either expand my network or think about my future career growth um, or something like that. And I'm going to do another call that's reaching back um, to like somebody that reaches out to me and asks to have, you know, a, a call about, about their career or their growth. Um, so sort of like a younger professional that might be reaching out. Um, you know, I'll get like a, a bunch of people that might contact me on LinkedIn and I can't talk to every single person. Um, but I have made that commitment this year that I was going to do at least one of those calls each week. So by the end of the year, I've spoken to 104 people. I've spoken to 52 people that I'm trying to help with with some of whatever they're trying to grow in. And I'm talking to 52 people that that will help me. So I think that's I've I've had to put it into a, into a practice that's a little bit more um I guess formatted or analytical. Structured, yeah. <laughs> structured, yeah. There we go. Structured. Um, but um, you know, that's the way that that I'm going about it. As far as somebody that stands out, um, there is somebody that I think has been really good about this. She's a young. I think she just graduated from college, um, so it's pretty impressive to me. She was like the whole time that she was in college, she would reach out. She would ask about um, working different events. She's a publicist. And so she had asked about working different events with us. And so we would, at, when I was at BET, we would bring her on. We would have like our agency hire her as, you know, the, the you know, staff that would work on site in an event for the day. Um, anytime she, you know, follows me on social media. So anytime something happens, she'll always send me a note um, you know, a personalized note or she'll send a comment or whatever it is, but she like tracks everything. And I've seen her doing it with other people too. Um, and she's very, very good about that. And so as a result, I had, somebody had asked me for a publicist for something and I had recommended her originally not realizing she was in college, um, because she had been so good about staying on top of things and always providing thoughts. And she would forward an article here and there. And so I just, I had no idea. And then I realized she was, and I was like, well, I still think she's good. So I think you should hire her either way. Um, but that's, that's an example that, that I can think of, um, you know, her it's, she's never really asking for anything, but the way that she's presented herself has made it so that I'm an advocate for her.